Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys some cool software and uh, it's a way for you to get around purchasing and using Microsoft Office. And uh, this program is open source, built by the community, and it has a writer program, it has a Excel program, it has a PowerPoint program. Uh, they're just worded differently. And uh, I'll show you how to download that and install it and uh, get it running on your machine. So here we go. Uh, go ahead and go to Firefox and uh, go to google.com and what you want to look for or search for is open office and right up top you'll see Apache open office go ahead and click that and uh, click I want to download Apache open office and this will uh, let you pick and choose uh, the correct installer for your machine. And this is correct by default. So we'll just click download full installation. And here it will take us to a site where we can download the software. And it's going to do that for us automatically. And we'll just wait for the save box to pop up. And there it is. And we'll hit save file. And this is going to download. Uh, this is quite a large file. It's 135 megabyte. And I actually have already this software installed on my machine. So uh, once this finishes downloading, all you have to do is click it and install the, uh, the, the program. And once it's installed, you'll be able to run it. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So I'm just going to cancel this uh, download since I already have it installed on the machine. And I'll minimize this. And once you install it, you'll see an icon on your desktop that looks like this, this open office desktop icon. So I'm just going to double click it. And here it is. And here's text document. This is just like uh, Microsoft Word. And it will read Microsoft Word files. It can save uh, as a Microsoft Word file. So it works just as well. And it also has its own file format. So it's uh, pretty powerful. This one spreadsheet. This is just like Microsoft Excel. Um, and then there's a bunch of other ones you can use here. Ones like PowerPoint. Uh, and other ones like, um, oh goodness, this is a database one. What do they, what do they call that? Uh, Access, you know. Um, so different things that are very similar to Microsoft Word. They just call them different things uh, for obvious reasons. So um, uh, like I said, the software is free. You do not have to buy Microsoft Office to write a Word document or do your book report. And uh, same with Excel cell files. So uh, just wanted to show you guys this. Show you guys this. Um, let me click text document just so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks like just like Microsoft Word has all the same tools. Uh, very clean looking, and you can just type in here, and that's it. And uh, if you want to save the file uh, as a Word document, just click File right here and go to Save As. And uh, here it says Save As Type. ODT is the default extension for this uh, program, but you can save it as a Microsoft Word document. Um, let's see, what's the best one to use here? I think I'll use save it as a, a .doc file, 972000 XP. And uh, you can name it whatever you'd like. Test. And, and when I save it to my documents, and I'll just hit save. And so you can, uh, now that we, uh, it's asking here if we want to keep the fir current format, and I do. And I'll tell you why in just a second here. Uh, let's say you wanted to email someone who uses Microsoft Office, which most people do. Well, now that you save this as a .doc file, you can email it to them or give it to them in any type of format and they'll be able to open it on the fly with no problems whatsoever. So, uh, pretty cool software. Doesn't cost anything and if you're trying to save money and uh, can't afford to purchase Microsoft Office, well, there's folks out there trying to help you. And uh, this is the answer. So I hope this helps you out. I'm going to close this here. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll try to get some more videos soon and uh, we hope your day's going well. Thanks a lot.